ready to go back home to Wasilla? Yes. <laughs> Anything else? Ready for a road trip? Mm -hmm. I am putting the camera at you. Mm -hmm. Right time, Steve, you zip that up. I was looking different pockets. <laughs> We're in Soldatna. Where? Soldatna. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna stop and eat, and then we'll keep going. Okay. Okay. Where are you eating? Taco Bell. Because you have to stop at Taco Bell. Alright. Alright. Okay, bye. Film business, Alaskan Ice Productions. Me and my friends have done it for eight ish years now. We started the filming when uh, back in middle school, my friends and I always thought it would be cool to have a camera because so many fun things happened to us. So we decided to get a camera. The only problem after we got the camera is we still missed all the moments that we needed the camera for. And so we pretty much started making our own movies, which are sort of our own moments, I guess. When I can, I like to just, I've always just like to tell stories, anything that gets a reaction out of people. Mm -hmm. I don't honestly care for the money or fame that could potentially come out of it. I just want to be able to tell the stories that I can. How did you guys first meet? I saw him first in Pilot Point, right? Yeah. And uh, and then I brought my brother up to Dillingham for. That's um, when I met her. I brought my brother up to Dillingham to um, the hospital, and Peter had thrown his airplane up that way, and we ended up staying at the home. same place. How many kids do you have, and what was it like watching them grow up? Four kids, one boy, three girls. And it was fun watching them grow up because we, they had so much fun. Um, we would stay in Pilot Point part of the time when we lived there in the winter time and put them to school. And in the summer, every summer until they grew up, um, we would go to the beach in Igigig for commercial fishing. And uh, that's all of our fondest memories is on that beach. What did we do for fun? Fly around. <laughs> <laughs>
With his own airplane. Yeah, go beach going, pick up fastballs, ivory, everything. Is there something that you grew up with that you wish you had today? Oh, I don't know. I think I you missed know. snow machining when you were young oh, and all yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Dog team and stuff. Go hunting, fishing, rice. I started doing art work when I was seven years old. Made my first boat when I was seven. My grandgirls today, they, they uh, do beading uh, around their dad's uh, pins and things that are made out of ivory. And when I started doing that years ago, I really didn't consider it artwork. Um, even when I started carving my own things. But what, at age 60, when I picked up sculpturing clay and, and made sculptures, which I now sell as limited editions in bronze, um, that to me was art, uh, I felt. Anchorage uh, to visit our Grandma Marie and see what she's up to. Uh, Hi, Grandma. I don't have a camera. Oh, how nice. I have uh, two brothers and one sister, I think. <laughs> Bubs and John, they found a bicycle and they they said finders, losers, keepers, and weepers and they wanted to take it and they brought it home and I made them take it all the way back <laughs> and that was, and then my brother kept saying, my brother Bob was saying, I'm going to tell dad on you, I'm going to tell dad on you, I said good and I had a little stick it up walked faster we were walking down Mill Bay Road. That was a fond memory. I always remember that. <laughs> the, uh, when did you meet Grandpa and what was it like growing up with him? I met him when I was 15 in a roller skating rink. He skated up to me and he says, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> and it was, it was funny. So my friend, Mercedes Mountcastle, she and I were skating, you know, together, and I don't, I didn't skate good. And uh, we, I said, did you hear what he said? And she had Leah, and she was laughing, and I was laughing, and didn't see him again, going round and round in, in the roller skating rink out on the Navy base in Kodiak. We missed the bus the last bus and we were sort of stranded out there because we were out at Nyman's Peninsula that's where the roller skating rink was and so we had to have a ride home <laughs> and he said he was he was a roller skate instructor and uh, so he gave us a ride home but we didn't usually take a ride home with a stranger you know uh, because we didn't know his name or anything. So then he said, uh, I, he, I needed to meet his sister and his brother-in-law because <laughs> they lived uh, in the same housing project on, on the base with us. And, but it, we didn't meet him that day, but the, that's how I met him. And I got married when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know about me? <laughs> we were married 55 years and uh, his ho he had hobbies. 
He, he was bowling, he did bowling, he did the baseball, and he, uh, what else? and he was a cannery manager, superintendent, or assistant superintendent in some places. And I'm not good at sports, so I didn't bowl, and I wasn't good at roller skating. I did, wasn't, uh, I didn't ice skate good. Nothing. I was a housewife all my life. <laughs> I worked in the cannery. Mm -hmm. I did that. I weighed, weighed fish or crab or shrimp or whatever it was. In salmon we called it a patcher and that's what I did. Just stand there with scissors and turn skins and cut bones. I would like to do more gardening but I'm too old now. Uh, I do container gardening and uh, that's about it. There's, I can't do it anymore. My hands are soft or I, they no strength in them or anything like that. But anyway, I still go out in the yard here and work around. Mm -hmm.